Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Kenny. Now, folks, you are looking at something that is remarkable to me. Uh, this is a Black & Decker confection toaster oven. Now, this thing is sold on Amazon for about $75. But this one here... Now, I'm talking about a new one like this. This one here is far from new. This thing, I want to show you something. Hang around if you're interested in something like this. This thing is three years old, but here's the catch. Notice how nasty it is. Notice how dirty it is. Take a look. Why is that? Okay, let me explain this to you. This thing has been out in the weather since back in early spring. That's right. Okay, now going around, look how nasty it is. Let me show you the back. It's nasty. Okay, here's the deal. I'm going to head, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean this thing up. So, you hang around and I'm going to get it cleaned up and we're going to see if it works. We're going to put some food in it and give it a test run. All right now, folks, we are back. We have thoroughly cleaned this old, old confection oven. This confection toaster oven, which just happens to be a Black & Decker. Now... I have got it clean on the outside and fairly decent on the inside. Now, rem remember, why am I doing this? I'm telling you, and I, as I told you earlier, this thing has been sitting out since back in early spring. Now, I'm talking about out, unprotected. Nothing whatsoever sat out in the bake of the heat all the rain, etc., etc. Now, this is the time of the test. Right here, we're going to see what it'll do. As you can see, we're going to put this pizza in here. Now, they tell me, I'm not a, a, a big microwave fan, but they tell me that a microwave, let me get this out of the bag, a microwave... Uh, you don't want to eat pizza from a microwave. Now, that's what they tell me. All right now, folks, we are just about done. I want you to see what this pizza looks like firsthand. Now, you, you're seeing some glare. Uh, we're, in, we're outside, actually. Now, I went back and reset this again when I started this cooking, and it's got about 20 seconds left. I set my timer. And what I meant is I had to preheat the oven. So that's exactly what I have done. And that's what you would need to do. Of course, you want to preheat your oven when you cook with this oven. Now, remember, here we go. We're done. Now, remember, folks, this thing has been sitting out since back in early spring. Now, let's open this door. Take a look at that pizza. Take a good look at that pizza. That is ready to go. Now let's take it out. Here we go. Let's get this pizza out. Here we are. Take a good look at that, folks. Does that look really, really, does that look great? Does that look great to you? Let's place it on this right here. Now there is a pizza that any kid would love. It's nice and brown on top, perfectly melted cheese and all of the pepperoni is nice and cooked so good. And it did it. I preheat 
I preheated the oven. There it looks after I just took the pizza out. Let me close the door. I preheated the oven to 400 degrees and I baked it about five minutes longer. I set the timer just about five minutes. It recommends about 15, 16 minutes of frozen pizza like that. But I baked it a little bit extra because I wanted it super brown because that's the way they like it. Now, what do I like about this thing? Let me give you what I like about it. I don't have anything negative at all to say about this confection toaster oven. In fact, I will tell you, you cannot get that kind of result cooking your pizza in a microwave. It will be tough and it will be soggy and your kids will not eat it. So stop cooking your pizza in a microwave. That just totally doesn't cut it. That is totally unacceptable to me because I can tell you we have used this thing for the past three years, but we stopped using it back in the spring and we simply just tossed it out. We put it outside and like I told you at the beginning, it sat out there since back in early spring. Now here's what I like about it. It's got all of the features right here. It's got potato. You can bake a potato. It, frozen snacks, cookies, pizza. It's got its own timer and temp set. It's very easy to do. You can bake. You can broil. You can cook toast, uh, fix toast with it. You can do bagels with it. You can cook all kinds of stuff on this thing. And let me tell you, it uses less energy, and a far less energy than your conventional oven does. And it does it a whole lot faster. So let me tell you, I give this thing five stars. It's a Black & Decker and uh, probably made in China, but if it lasts like this thing has lasted, don't you think it's $75 on Amazon and I can, I, I, surely you can get it in other places and maybe get a better deal on it if you're interested in something like this. But I give it five star rating for its reliability for its long lasting, for its easy to operate, easy to maintain and clean, and it works. I'm gonna tell you this thing with my overall analysis of it, it's quality. Something that you, if you're interested in something like this, to repair your food the way it should be prepared, let me tell you, Take it from me. You can't beat this thing. It's got high ratings on Amazon's reviews. And if I was interested, I'm going to keep this thing and I'm going to start using it right back over again. Even though we've had it three years, I'm going to use it right back over again. Remember, it's a Black & Decker convention, confection toaster oven. So listen, if you like this and you like what it does, as I have just showed you, Give us a big thumbs up, click that like button, and go ahead and subscribe to the channel, and you have a blessed day.